Number 20. The density of liquid NH3 is 0.64 grams per milliliters, and the density of gaseous NH3 at STP is 0.0007 grams per milliliter. Explain the difference between the, the densities of these two phases. Okay, so in order to help us out, I pulled up a generic picture of what actual liquid molecules look like in a given container versus what gaseous molecules look like in a given container. So I guess we could just pretend that we have NH3 in here, even though technically we should see more different color uh, balls because we have two different elements here, but the, the idea is there. Now just know that liquids on a balanced equation, if you ever see an L next to a, a, a substance in a balanced equation, that's liquid form, and a gas is represented as a G. So now we are saying that for NH3, and now I'm just going to put the L there, the liquid form of NH3, the density was equal to 0.64 grams per mil. Okay, and now let's just do the same for the ammonia for the gas, right? So NH3 is ammonia, has a very, very potent smell, and the gaseous phase has a, has a much lower density, 0 0.0007 grams per mil. Now, in order to help us out in this, in this question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take the values and turn them into, uh, I guess we'll say, um, basically like talking points, right? What does 0 0.64 grams per mil actually mean? What does 0 0.0007 grams per mil actually mean? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my value here and turn it into a fraction because I have fraction units, grams per mil. Uh, so I'm just going to take that 0 0.64 and I'm going to say, okay, if I want to turn this into a fraction, all I have to do is take this number and put it over one. And that's a horrible one. That's better. And the same thing with the gash. I'm going to put 0 0.0007 over 1. And now we could see what is remaining constant in terms of uh, NH3 liquid and NH3 gas. Well, it turns out that we are in the same volume. We're forcing the situation to be talking about the same volume. For in this instance, they both have a one milliliter volume. Now the only difference is that the amount of grams that are being able to be packed in a one volume milliliter container is um, gonna be different, right? Turns out that since 0 0.64 grams is a larger value, you can fit more grams, right, in the one milliliter space. And more grams, 0 0.64 grams. Since the 0 0.007 grams is less, you know, it's smaller, this means that you could fit less grams in the one milliliter space. But now why is that? Explain that difference. Well, now it comes down to the pictures. If we notice what's going on in a liquid, look how close those molecules can get to each other, right? In a liquid, so we'll say in a liquid, the molecules can still touch. They can get super, super, super close. I mean, these two are touching, these two are touching, right? Some of them are still touching. So if those molecules still have the ability to touch, they are super close. And in a one mil container, you know, maybe we'll say that we have, you know, one mil container, whatever it is, um, you can fit more molecules. 
I mean, clearly, if we add up all these values, right, the number of red dots that are here are clearly more than the number of red dots in the gas. That's because you could fit more molecules. And if you could fit more molecules, you will have more mass. And that's why for this, the number is 0 0.64 grams. Now let's just do the same thing for the, um, the gas, right? In a gas, what's going on with those molecules? They have tons of kinetic energy. It's overcoming those intermolecular forces, and they're able to act super independent of another. These like little dash lines just talk about the speed in which they're bumping off uh, the container, the walls of the container. So in a gas, molecules don't touch. They act independent of each other. And if they don't touch, that means that they are farther away. So, if they're farther away, and they're not allowed to be close to each other, you have to fit less molecules. And, because you have less molecules, you will have less mass. Maybe I'll say, have less mass. And that's why the number is so very small, 0 0.0007 grams. And I know I'm kind of going off the off the uh, the deep end here, but I think that's good. And let's box that answer off. And that's basically all that it is for this question. So we said that we have the same amount of volume. So maybe I'll just put that up here. So for, for the same volume, and the same volume in this case was one milliliter. Okay. So, I think that's good. What'd you think? I hope, I hope this helped you out. Thank you for viewing the video. Um, thank you so much for being part of the community. And thanks for, you know, all the kind comments um, and, you know, support for us uh, to help this channel grow. Thank you so much. The channel would obviously not be here without you guys. Um, and the whole point is to just, you know, get you guys to keep just, you know, keep learning, always learning. And... We become better because of that. So thank you so much and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.